welcome back to our ongoing office 365 so we are done with off um, OneDrive for good now we only thing left to do is reports and health and billing Let's check the settings and support we already new service request like how you get that I covered that basically when we upgrade uh, got the trial removed so and security and compliance so we are uh, pretty good on that and I saw uh, I checked other the like the flow search and uh, power apps I peeked into it I could not make it much uh, out of it so basically it's data policies and all that so I'm not gonna cover that right now I I'm gonna go back to um, this main things where most of our <clears throat> work is done the reason is that uh, these things like Microsoft is revamping and changing so we're gonna wait for it like if some are out like Yammer and Skype and um, they you know after they settle down that mesh up and shuffling then we can see what's going on so <clears throat> before I go to I was I wanted to run the reports and check the health I think we did check the health we already yeah we already done with the health when we saw the uh, advisory and all that right so <clears throat> I, I thought to do the reports but then you know I have 20 licenses to give and I have used this user tab so today we are going to do the user tab and we not gonna go into very de much detail like we did in the past when we started <clears throat> but the thing the, the reason I wanted to cover this is because I was going to um, give everybody access to um, Office 365 because um, I was like what the hell it's gonna be expired in one uh, month from now one month and 10 days so you see this uh, when I came here it says offers Microsoft team commercial cloud user so the user initiated so uh, Microsoft is pushing team big time and everybody got the uh, license because they were part of office 365 but only five user if you remember have the um, uh, office 365 so what's this user template uh, it could be like uh, to if you want to add future users and you want to have them like you get a uh, it's like a for IT department they have they need five uh, apps from office 365 and then there's accounting they need something else like they need different apps so you can create a template and w apply that so that user will automatically get everything from that template the settings basically it's like a setting container and <clears throat> the, you can apply it to IT or you can apply it to accounting or finance or whatever so they get access to those application you don't have to go and actually uh, set uh, assign the applications one by one for each user and multi-factor authentication is very common now you get to like you have to sign in through get the code on either a text message or you have the app on your phone so <clears throat> but since I saw that and you see I think one two three four and there should be one more guy here right they have oh it says office 360 business and uh, uh, like they have the both of them but if I hover over here he only has the team so I want to give everybody office 365 license so bulk uh, assigning so I I was like what the hell let's go but we can create general out of it on premises out of it inventory let's give him as well I just a user right so inventory and deploy I don't want to give them but let's give them <clears throat> so how do we do that it's gonna be manage product licenses if I click here 
replace existing product license assignments add to existing product license assignment i'm gonna cancel for just one quick second i'm gonna re and i'm gonna unmark them ali aslan h has it aslan t has it uh, bell has it and imran has it journal and on premises does not need it now all of these <clears throat> We're gonna add Office 365. So manage product licenses. One way to do is through here. So I can go next. I can change location. I don't have United States. Everybody's in the United States. I have 20 licenses if I click on. And they, they already have this was license, so I don't have to worry myself about this. But so here that th this is what I was talking about, the temp uh, template. So basically you create a template and you uh, off certain apps put on a certain apps and you name it finance so that template is automatically applied to the user but that is a different thing we will i can show you that as well commercial cloud user teams commercial cloud they already have it so i'm gonna see click add so it's nine users selected they are selected have been added for nine user there was another way to do that next up you may have unused product licenses in subscription so there was another way to doing it if i could go back so now everybody has office right oh brock uh, brock yes brock has as well <clears throat> if i could go to billing product and services or licenses so you would see that <clears throat> over here it's asking showing me commercial cloud user or business premium premium if i click here now i have 14 people's assigned before it was only five so four five plus nine 14. so these are the user that have the office 365 uh, assigned to them so what i can do is i can assign a license from here as well all i have to do is search it so you see all of these users but if i go down and journal you remember we uncheck journal i get assigned so journal gets the uh, <coughs> um uh license as well but i don't want to give journal a license yet what i want to do is i want to go back and i want to add a user just a user just like ali if you remember from the very first one so <clears throat> i'm gonna give this name um joe joe jojo display name jojo what the hell jo what's happening jojo username j o j o e auto generated password let me create i'm going to create the password for this profile change their password just like active directory send password in email upon completion we can do that i'm going to just click next location in the united states i could give him the license right away from right just here i want to or not it's up to me assign a product license no create a user without a product license and i'm not giving him any license role he does not he is just a user no administrative access i could put more information if i wanted to but i don't want to because this is the license this is the user that I created for a specific purpose. Juju has been added. Now be in your list of active users. I'm gonna close it. And if I go here, active users, where I am, it's right there. And he is on license. So I'm gonna go <coughs> to deleted user. There are none, right? Even if I refresh it, none. So I go to active user and show you worked here and now he's done. We want to delete him. So we can remove a user, where it is? Delete user. It's asking me, you want to delete this user? Yes, Jojo has been deleted. So if I go to deleted user, it's right there. From here, I think I should be able to restore. Yes, I can. So. That's how you 
okay I could delete a user from there as well and nope it just says reset password so there is no option to delete from there or maybe there is right there all right so <clears throat> I want to restore Joe and auto generated password or I have to create a password again right I'm gonna keep it Joe here so what are the contacts contacts is somebody who is like from outside organization so like I could put my name Imran. okay so let's go I I keep forgetting my password I need to... all right so company spectrum office phone I don't want to mobile phone do I don't want to so I could fill more information if I wanted to but it's just a contact so I'm not adding any more information view details I could view the details and I could edit them out I can exit out over there and this is how you add contacts in office 365 <coughs> and then the guest user so there's no option it says add a guest user but I don't see like how to add a guest user here so refresh choose column display name there's no option to add a guest user either it's broken Microsoft working on it I have no idea so this is the overview of users tab and the reason I wanted to do this is that so I can I'm gonna give it a day and then come back and run, run the report so we can see uh, like it's been a few days since everything has been up and running email forever and then Yammer everything so now it's time to run the reports and see what we get there Right, so if this video has helped you, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share, and I see you in the next one.